So I'm currently back in Perth, Western Australia, after flying across from Sydney a few days ago. And of course, we used a flight plan calculated for a globe Earth. I keep asking flat earthers to show me an alternative to the globe for flight planning, but they can't do it and they keep running away. It is very satisfying. As you can see, the weather is beautiful. And yesterday I drove down to Cottesloe to make some observations of Bathurst Lighthouse from different elevations. In this video, we're going to look at those observations and I think you will agree with me that the results destroy any notion that the earth might be flat. So here is Bathurst Lighthouse in one of my previous videos. As we know, the elevation of the ground at the base of the lighthouse is around 14 meters. We can get that from Google Earth. The height of the lighthouse from base to top is 19.2 meters. When we add those together, it puts the top of the lighthouse just over 33 meters above sea level. And that's the number we'll use for this analysis. So here it is in Google Earth. As we know, Bathurst Lighthouse is located on the northern side of Rottnest Island. The distance of the observation was 20.03 kilometers. I made the observation from the top of this small hill and also down on the beach. Google Earth tells us that this elevation is nine meters. As you will see in my video, the lower observation was around two meters. Let's now use these numbers in the Earth Curve Calculator to predict what we should see. So I have now entered those values into Walter Bisland's Advanced Earth Curve Calculator. The elevation of the lighthouse at 33 meters and the elevation of the ground at 14 meters. This is being viewed from the higher location and when we add the height of the tripod the observer height is around 10 metres. There's the target distance, 20.03 kilometres. Target 1 has a size of 33 metres and target 2 has a size of 14 metres. You can see from the higher location, we can see the lighthouse and the ground beneath it quite clearly. Let's take a screenshot of that. Now what happens when we go to the lower elevation of two meters? We can still see the lighthouse, but all the land beneath disappears. Let's take a screenshot of that. So here are the two screenshots side by side. The one on the left is from the observer height of two meters none of the ground underneath the lighthouse is visible. The one on the right is from the observer height of 10 meters. We can clearly see the land under the lighthouse. Now how do these predictions compare to my observations taken yesterday? This is the one from two meters and this is the one from 10 meters. I think we can all agree that the observed reality here matches the prediction for the globe perfectly. So I'll now play the clips taken yesterday and you will notice that the seeing conditions are excellent. There is no distortion, no mirage and you can even see the people at the base of the lighthouse. So this is the low position for the camera. 
and as you can see the ground beneath Bathurst Lighthouse is not visible. The first clip was taken up there just near that seat So we're now at the higher elevation position, again looking at Bathurst Lighthouse. And from the higher elevation, we can see the ground underneath the lighthouse. My low position was just down there. Just panning around to show you the location. That's Princess Street. And there's a nice moon. I'll have to get back to the hotel to start filming that with a telescope. So I'm now back at the hotel with the telescope set up on the moon. It's a beautiful, clear and calm night. Perfect for astronomy. As you can see, we have a sharp image of the moon. And the benefit of using a remote desktop is that once the telescope is set up outside, I don't need to sit out there. I can come inside and keep watching Westworld on Apple TV, while also monitoring the progress of the telescope on this screen. My friend, Wes Wally, has told me that it is cloudy on the other side of Australia tonight, so I invited him to use my telescope. He'll probably jump on soon.